This is an incremental upgrade. It's better. Sure, it helps. The stock usually runs up into the launch a little bit. Is it going to radically transform the company and suddenly return it to growth? Highly unlikely. Um, Angelo, are you that uh, are you that skeptical? I guess is the right word. I mean, we're a bit skeptical, but I will say this: you know, I, I, I think what we've seen thus far, the initial indications are, you know, we've seen we've we got good momentum for the iPhone 7. I don't think it lasts kind of throughout the cycle, especially as you kind of inch towards that iPhone 8 cycle next year. But that being said, I mean, I think it's a very encouraging sign. I think Apple continues to innovate and create products that consumers want. And I do expect um, that installed base to continue to increase, partly because of some of the issues that Samsung is having right now with the Note 7. And it, it is hard to overstate how horrible that is for Samsung. It's unbelievable. They finally come out with a phone that everybody loves from a design perspective. They think it's great. Then they start exploding. I was on an airplane earlier this oh, week. Oh, yeah. Oh. They are specifically That's... saying no Samsung phones on this airplane. It's just a disaster. And it happens right as Apple's launching a great product, iPhone 7. They make wonderful phones. So how what a you, gift. How do you get your head around the sold out notion, right, the lack of numbers, the opening weekend. Um, is this the kind of thing where they've reached a point where there's no way they could have capacity to meet opening weekend demand? I think that's the way to think about it. And I think you, you, just, you can't, you don't know what it really means. They're selling globally now as they do this. It's, so it's really hard to get a picture of that. And I think, again, it's a great phone. They will sell tens of millions of them. It's just not as a radical a change as the iPhone 6 when they came out with a big screen and they finally caught up to Samsung and you had this huge rush where they also had big price increases, big profit increases. That was the time of radical change. If, if that's true, Angela, why, didn't, why wasn't Verizon uh, more bullish in their commentary yesterday? Yeah, I think that's interesting. I think, um, you know, when we kind of take, you know, the four carriers together um, in its totality, I think overall it's a good indication for Apple. However, when we look, I think, at what's going on within the carrier space, I do expect that the value carriers continue to, to take market share here. Um, you know, AT&T did appears to do, be doing okay. However, you know, I think when you look at, especially uh, T-Mobile and Sprint, it appears they, they're, they're offering something that the other, the other two big carriers aren't, and that is leasing programs. And I think ahead of a, a potential super cycle next year, I would expect that there are going to be some consumers that migrate towards the leasing option. I think this year more so than any year, um, that would be a great option for consumers. So I think that's part of the reason. Um, but it's tough to really say why you know, Verizon is struggling you know, relative to maybe AT&T. So, Angela, what does it mean for the stock, which has already had a pretty nice move here, at more than 8% for the week, now trading at multi-month highs? I mean, this is a breakout. So how much more readjustment does there have to be based on the recalibration of expectations around iPhone 7 and Plus 7 Plus demand? Yeah, I mean, I think you've kind of seen the easy money being made here. Um, our view is the momentum for the iPhone 7 will start to, to wane in the coming months. But that being said, I do think that the stock continues to grind higher. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.